What is up, fellow renegades across the interwebs? Before we begin the video, as always, I want to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Extinction Team 75, Jacques from Wetterin, Lily Panda, Apprentice, Coma Blitz, Kid Cipher, C Raccoon, Aaron White, Gregory B, Fiat Voltus Mea, Joseph Dungan, Chris Andrews, Sean McLaughlin, Mariner, a me boy, Mage Click, Snowy, Zaxxon six six six, Cursing Throne ninety two, Ali Mocha, Duncan, Dimitri Theodosakis, Lily Panda, H E V Mark Four, Jesse the Educator, Austin Hall, Ethan Davis, Commander Nom Nom, Corbin, Ethan Kuyoth, and as always, I want to give a shout out to our executive producer, Bevan Brummett. Thank you all very much for your support. If you want to become a Patreon supporter, feel free to click the link in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Good job! See what happens? No! See what happens when you're stupid? See what happens? Ah! No! National security! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! No! Let me out of the box! Daddy, please let me out of the box! I'm stuck! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I'm stuck up here! I'm stuck up here! Look! So yeah, this one's Flash Gets. This is Harry Potter special. I, I, I don't think- I'm not gonna monetize either one of these videos, because I'm, I'm not just gonna, gonna be able to monetize I've, the first one. I've seen like three or four Flash Gets so far, and they are always the funniest shit I've ever seen. Like, this- I and really edgy like, as hell because like, from what I've seen so far, I really like Flash Gets. <laughs> no, Flash Gets is hilarious. My whole thing is, like, I like the first thing I ever saw was them actually. Uh, whenever um, they had like the switch over, like everybody started to play Apex Legends. Yes, um, Apex Cucks uh, Fortnite. Yeah, and it was like uh, the graves uh, out in the backyard, you know, and it was like, be. sorry, old pal, and it was like putting down like an old dog, Putting you know? down old yeller. And it was like Apex in the window, and he like squishes his pecs up against the window, and he's like, oh! oh. <laughs> 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 it's fucking great. I just remember that, and I also remember uh, later on they did another one. Uh, it was Warzone. <laughs> And it, oh my god. Dude, I gotta be honest, dude. That just Flash Git, the first ever Flash Gits I ever saw was Racist Mario back in the day. That one, actually, people, we got in trouble for that one a little bit because a lot of people were just like, how come you didn't censor that one word? That one word being the N word. Oh. And it's like, I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I, we typically just wasn't like, censored in the original video. How come he didn't censor it? Well, I censored other like swear words, but I didn't censor that one. I guess to me at that time, I didn't consider that word to be like that, like like on the same level. But I don't know. Times change, people yeah. change. But anyway, we got the Harry Potter special Ed uh, flash gets here. Let's get this up on screen and may God have mercy on our souls. Flash kids. When you hear the word Hogwarts, Down Syndrome isn't usually the first thing that comes to mind. But I'm looking to change all that. My name is Mrs. Spinelli, and I am the head of the special education program here at Hogwarts. Oh, Lord, this is going to be bad. First problem, she's when not British. When they arrive on the short train. Come on, everyone! Grab your invisibility clothes! For their own safety, we do have to cloak the kids on their way to class. A lot of the talking paintings were commissioned in the 16th century and can be very hurtful, particularly towards the kids of Afro-Caribbean descent. A lot of N-bombs. How are the goblins today, Mrs. Spinelli? <laughs> hey! Stop eating my world, you little monster! Jeremy! The work set by the school for the kids can be a little, uh, humble. You know, for example, if, if a potion class requires 16 crushed beetles or three tongueless toads, they'll often put our children to work on that. Smash <laughs> the beetles! What Mrs. has been doing with the dud bloods is truly magical. Dud bloods? What's a dud blood? Is that supposed to be Dumbledore? 
No, I, I, oh. I don't know if that's Dumbledore, but Dead Bloods, that's basically like the the Mud Bloods, but instead Dud Bloods, meaning like Dud. Oh, gotcha. What Spinelli has been doing with the Dud Bloods is truly magical. Dud Bloods is the official term. I personally find it somewhat antiquated, but progress in the wizarding world is rarely made overnight. I'm pretty sure we're going to get that chain soon, though. Jeremy is one of my more challenging cases. Though it may not seem like it, Jeremy is actually neurotypical. Or normal. But like so many of his generation, he's 29 and still obsessed with Harry Potter. <laughs> What's interesting is... Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> fucking roast! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> fucking roast! Technically, I'm 28, but yeah. Oh. 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 Damn! Oh, oh god! That's, oh god! That Call was the, savage! Call the freaking fire department! Get some burn ointment on this bitch! Come on, man! Whoa! <laughs> oh god! Man, I made some brisket the other day, and I gotta say, that is a roast, like, much more wor That's worse than the brisket that I made. Oh. We usually only see this level of Potter-induced disability from women. I'm a Hufflepuff! Women? <laughs> Muggles aren't technically allowed in Hogwarts, but when I saw Jeremy getting a Deathly Hallows tattoo, I knew he needed saving. Oh, God. What are you working on there, Jeremy? A fan Harry pick. Potter helping... Harriet Tubman. You know, uh, Jason, waves. our guitarist, actually has a Deathly Hallows tattoo. I want one. <laughs> but I don't have Is this one. Him? I have a Deathly Hallows um, <laughs> necklace. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with liking Harry Potter as long as you're not like the ultra obsessive type. It's just like, I'm going to write another cross slash fiction where me and Hermione wind up together. And I'm an, a and, uh, you know, I'm a special case because I'm a vampire who's become. Yeah, who who got inducted in Hogwarts because my magic is so powerful that they wanted to con you know help me control it. I was like, by the way, that fan fiction actually does exist. It's called oh my, my Immortal. I like yeah. to encourage people to make their own art, but I also like to encourage certain people to keep it to themselves when they do. <laughs> oh, some people. Well, here's the thing. Some people it's like, don't. Oh, make your art. Just don't. Uh, don't some put people it out don't there. want to keep it to themselves. <laughs> they want to share it with everyone else out there. And if you don't like it, the same level that they do, then basically, it's called Harry Potter and the Underground Railroad. <laughs> that is the most mentally retarded Sorry. thing I ever got. That. Oops. Huh. Well, the special needs up. wizards do explode when they're overwhelmed. We try to mitigate it by giving them rubber wands, but there's only so much you can do. We used to lose one or two students a year, but since Jeremy has been with us, it's gone up to three or four months. Home time is particularly difficult, as the other students struggle to understand why Jeremy won't leave Hogwarts behind. You think kids raised on Harry Potter and Hunger Games are just gonna give up? Silly adult. It is my job to hold out. At that point, I kick the kid in the balls, <laughs> tell him that all of his heroes are fake and he needs to grow the fuck up. <laughs> Hope for these kids when no one else does. But sometimes for kids like Jeremy, there's really only one solution. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, on the brighter side... <laughs> Hello! Swagger souls? No, no need to come out! Trying to pass my cave without paying the tax, are we? No! In fact, I can get you more loot than you could ever dream of! Have you heard of Red Shadow Legends? Oh god! Red oh, right. Shadow Legends! Battle! Red! Babes! Mm. Like Elaine, AoE specialist. This is what we get for watching something from a year ago. Cold heart. Kind of a bitch, really. But what man could resist? Hmm? Uh, 
And what a beautiful woman you are, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ! I, I was just telling your wife about... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just love I just love the like the knight's reaction. Oh, sure. Christ! I Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just telling your wife about a game that's bigger and better than ever before. With new champions, new gear, new bosses, new new tower, PvP campaign dungeons! I'm gonna spruce! Me! If you hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and are a new player, you'll get a free epic champion, Jotun. 100,000 silver, 50 it's, gems, and free ancient fighting. shards, so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All of this treasure will be waiting for you here, but hurry, it's only available for the next 30 days. Link we missed in that the one. description. Huh? <laughs> so, well, we missed that one. <laughs> Drats. Uh, so Have yeah. Luck next time, guys. Oh Jesus Christ! He did North Korean Squid Game. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah, North Korean Squid Game. <laughs> Everybody dies, and the and the that winner. That was a crazy show. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, Kathan was watching it, and you know, people were talking about it, and I did not anticipate to watch it and be interested, but. We watched it down here. We did a reaction. That was the same it way. It was just it. I didn't know what to expect either. It was one I, of those things that blew up, and I was just like, "This sounds like a repeat of like everything else I've heard of before." And then I watched it, and I was like, "Okay, that was way better than I expected." It's because yeah. of the character development <laughs> again. Yeah. That's the main reason why it mm -hmm. it was as good as it was. You had that mask at Halloween that yes, can make the yes, that was <laughs> great. Change the shapes and stuff. Yeah, that was cool. And uh, it was the fact that they didn't hinge telling a story on the death game. The death game was just a basically catalyst for the story. Yes. Yeah. Whereas like a lot of like the B horror movies and stuff after Saw have just been like, oh, all we have to do is make a movie where we put people in death games and it'll write itself. And make it gory. Right, yeah. And like instead That's like they they're just like, nah, like like let's tell a really good story based off the fact that there's a death game going See, on. See, that's what's missing. Yeah. That's, that's that's the important part. That's literally what's missing. Instead, like Hollywood hires these dime a dozen like fan fiction writers who literally are just like like, so basic with their story creation and all that and anytime someone actually comes along it's like well here's actually a script that has very interesting characters and very interesting depth and, uh, and then all of a sudden the studio has they're like but like, Jimmy over here has a hat with about a thousand ideas for ways to kill people <laughs> it's like um okay that bridge but... scene was oh yes oh my gosh that the tug of war scene oh yeah that one was intense the I was going to say the marbles. Oh that yeah, that one was heartbreaking. That yeah, especially for uh, especially for Ali. And you can't. Well, the the twister in the story too, like that was. That one, me and Nick sort of saw it coming, I but didn't. at the same but at the same time, me and Nick were both just like, I'll forgive it. I'll like. And that's how I was anyway. I mean, I I'm like, I'll I forgive it. I didn't expect it, and I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I, I remember saying that. I was like, what, what the fuck? I remember <laughs> and when... I had to rewind <laughs> it. I remember when you saw him, you saw it again, you were just like, fucking knew it. Yep. Fucking knew it. And me, I'm just like, I know, right? It's literally when the scene went away like from the camera, and you <gasps> just heard the gun shut off camera. I was like, I know exactly what they're doing. And then later <clears> on, <throat> when we saw like certain things, it's like, mm, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, see, when you watch it over, I haven't watched it again since the first time. Uh-huh. But I heard that when you watch it over, like it, there's like breadcrumbs, I guess. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That you don't really so we notice. noticed some of the breadcrumbs on the first time. Uh, a little so. bit. There's oh, some see, that I didn't. There's so, well, there was one reveal I didn't expect. Um, the uh, the po uh, the police officer. Oh yeah. That I didn't expect. Yeah. Because I was just like. Well, I was huh? talking about the one of the main people. You know, I mean, I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't watched it yet. Yeah. For those of you wondering, this is a balloon. Uh, we yeah. had a party and. Uh, it's about the size of a heart. We had a wedding. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So, okay. anyway. Anyway. Yeah, that's going to do it. That was Harry Potter Special Ed. 
uh, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. That if you want to see more from Flash Kits, you know the deal. And there's uh, Oni and G before that too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Which I'm I'm probably gonna divide them up, and <laughs> I'm probably not gonna monetize these videos at all because YouTube will probably just be like, no, no, and I'll just be like, but it, oh, but, but it's, it's funny. There. It's funny. <laughs> Uh, anyway, thanks again, everybody. Until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. See you later, everyone. Peace. Bye.